Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Caller X Malice, Okazuki's route. Let's go. Then, the caller didn't respond again, no matter how many times I prompted it. There aren't even eight hours left. This was no place to hesitate. But if I made a wrong move, he could lose his life immediately. My mind raced, considering the best choice. I could consult Yanagi, but if Okazaki finds out indirectly, regardless, Okazaki would be killed if I didn't go to their hideout. But I had no illusions that I could make it to the terrorist base on my own. Death alone was acceptable, but there was a chance that I could become a liability for the police. It's no good. I don't see an opening. I anxiously took out my phone to try to find someone who could advise me. Ah, I had a notification for a recent missed call from Okazaki. <laughs> I tightly squeezed my phone in my hand, and I called Okazaki. Hello? A lady? Oh, thank goodness you picked up. Okazaki... I heard that they stopped the raid. Are you at home now? Yes. Most of the investigators at the station had been ordered to stand by at home. When I heard Okazaki's voice over the phone, my heart felt at ease. I didn't want to lose him. I knew that he would hate the fact that I was sacrificing myself to save him. I had been the one who begged for him to find a way for us to live together. It's frustrating, but... It looks like we won't be moving anytime soon. Act calm like I always do. The person on the caller could hear everything that I was saying. Essentially, this was me telling them that I wasn't going to resist. Are you home right now? Can I come over? Um, I glanced at the clock. It was 4.30 p.m. Did you need something? I can't come over unless I have business. No, it's not that. We stopped celebrating Christmas halfway, remember? The fire didn't get lit, so let me continue that. <laughs> you said to put our feelings on hold. I couldn't let him figure out what was happening, but it would be difficult to refuse. Above all, I, I still want to see him one last time. All right, it's okay. I'll be waiting. Okay. I'll be right over then. I looked at my phone screen once the call ended. I'm the worst. My muttered self-deprecating -de words faded into the empty room. But I had a feeling that the person on the other end of the caller was laughing at me. Whoa. Come on in. I'll make some tea. Okazuki? It's nothing. I'm just glad to see you. What's this now? I was getting anxious. I'm glad I just misunderstood. <laughs> I did, didn't I? You're not going into danger without me, right? It's crazy how you can sense that. <laughs> You're such a worrywart. I stifled my anxiety and gave him the best smile that I could. Though... He was indoors, he could still be targeted. I'd already made up my mind. I would protect him. It's going to be okay. I'm right here. Even if he resented me for it. There's no one else here, so don't worry about it. What about your brother? He's not home yet. I keep telling him not to go out so much, but... But lately, we've been getting along better. He keeps in touch with me, and he doesn't go out late at night anymore. I see. That's great. That means I can cut Yoshinari a break, then. Yoshinari? Oh, I guess I didn't tell you. I've been having Yoshinari protect your brother. What? Of course we kept it a secret from him. You've been targeted by Adonis, so something terrible could have happened to him. I had no idea. 
I'd assumed that Yoshinari was posted at Yanagi's office while Okazaki was busy trying to protect me. No. It was more than an assumption. I ran into Yush Yoshinari near the office quite often, after all. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We made that decision, and Yanagi's team approved it, too. More importantly, if your brother might be coming home, we shouldn't get too steamy. Oh, really, dude? I'm just kidding. I'll wait until you're ready. No, you don't need to wait. Huh? I... I also want to... flirt with you. Who says that? I want to flirt with you. Hey, I want to flirt with you. I mean, that sounds so weird. <laughs> Okazaki's eyes widened, and he blinked a few times. Maybe that was too sudden. But... It was sincerely how I felt. These might be our last moments together. That was all I could think. You mean that? His hand caressed my cheek. The touch caused my shoulders to tremble slightly, but I kept my eyes fixed on his. Yes. Then we inched close enough until I could feel his breath on mine. Uh, oh, but wait just a moment. There's something I want to ask you first. Okazaki hung his head, clearly disappointed by the sudden interruption. Lady, I think you're yanking my chain a bit too much. S sorry but I really need to ask. Our faces were still very close, and his eyes invited me to continue. Um, Okazaki, what do you like about me? Although he had confessed his feelings for to me, I had turned him away in the moment, and I hadn't quite believed what I'd heard. After learning his past and sharing our feelings, I thought we'd finally become close, yet somehow I still can't quite believe it. The affection that he possessed for me was unmistakable, but I was still sure that he only viewed me as an ideal. There are a whole lot of people that I can say I like. Suddenly, he dropped a bomb on me, and my mind just froze. I like Yanagi's team, Yoshinari, my friends in the force, and even girls I see walking by. I guess I like a lot of people I think are good people. But I can't really say that I've ever gotten attached to anybody. <laughs> people have told me I was different than what they expected after we started dating. I'm not special to you. I'm just another person in the crowd for you. Stuff like that. I think I can understand them. But for some reason, you're special to me. It doesn't make sense. It's not about liking or disliking you. You're someone that I need to live. Right now, you're the reason I'm alive. Isn't it normal to want to touch that person or keep her all to myself? While he talked, his fingers touched my cheek. The gesture was completely gentle, and I could feel the warmth from his fingertips. It conveyed his feelings much better than his words did. Back when you were mad at me, I thought that I shouldn't should have done a better job hiding it from you. Maybe I should have said my death wish was a joke, and that I just wanted you to feel safe. Yeah, I could have lied and kept using you. But I couldn't make myself do it. I wanted you to accept me for the person I really am. I was rendered speechless by his complete honesty. I wasn't worth anything. I wasn't important to anyone else. I was sure that I and everyone else had felt that way before. What should I do? I'm so happy. That was more than love or romance. He just wanted me. It made me so happy that I shivered. So what do you like about me? I was happy to hear that you like me, but it's still a bit of a mystery to me. You got that angry for my sake, and you even said that you'd rather sacrifice someone else so that I could live, because you didn't want to lose me. I don't think that I'm worth that much. To be honest, I can't honestly believe that you actually feel that way. After all, you didn't like me that much at first, did you? <laughs> the sudden question troubled me. I had been attracted to his kindness at first. He was warm, 
and made me feel safe. He was someone who made me smile and who brought some peace into my life. But he was stubborn and uncompromising. He could be cold and lived by his own rules. He'd ignored my feelings and stubbornly just wanted to die for his own satisfaction. When I think about it, what do I like about you? I unconsciously let that slip. Should you really be saying that in front of me? S sorry, but I'm like you. It's not about whether I like or dislike you in the end. You're the only one for me. I need you. <laughs> So, there are still things that we can't believe or understand about each other. Yet, we still want to be together. Doesn't that feel pretty special to you? It does. I could accept that. If it's hard to put into words, want to try this? Huh? Try what? I tilted my head, unsure what he meant. But in the next moment... Huh? My world turned upside down, and I saw stars. Ooh, CG. Ooh, look at him. Mmm. Wow. Eventually, I realized that I'd been pushed down. Above me, he was smiling calmly. Do you like it when I do this? My heart was pounding. This was unfair. Right now, I was feeling humiliated. It's embarrassing, but I don't hate it. Rather than dislike, I felt happy. When I nodded, Okazaki chuckled. Then there's your answer. You said you were going to try something, but isn't this a little extreme? But you understand me now, don't you? If I didn't care, then I wouldn't want to do this. Forget about love, hate, all the small stuff. Right now, I just want you. <laughs> Let me know if you don't want this, but if you feel the same way I do, then please accept me. This is mean. Our hands entwined tightly enough that it hurt, different from all the times before. He looked at me with hot, passionate eyes and lovingly ran his hand through my hair. I shouldn't push him away, but... Before I said that there are a lot of people I like, but I rarely find anyone that I like to tease. I don't know. You tease Yoshinari pretty much, too. Yeah, that's just my way of showing him I care. Obviously, my feelings for you are different. I want to be kinder towards you than anyone, but at the same time, I want you to let me bother you. I remember Shidaishi saying that you have a bad personality. Yeah, didn't you know? You're good-looking, but rotten on the inside. <laughs> That's right. And it's your own fault for getting involved with a bad guy like me, so let me get what I want, okay? Okatsuki's fingers touched the nape of my neck. There was a slight click as his fingertips landed on my collar. They're listening now, aren't they? He's saying that now? I'll never hand you over to the likes of them. Then, he taunted them. I knew that I wouldn't be killed as long as I served some use to Adonis, but I still felt really uneasy about the fact that Okazaki was being targeted. Don't break our promise, or I won't forgive you. Then, he smiled at me, as if he saw right through me. Okay. I couldn't stop my voice from cracking. If you don't want to let me die, then don't you run away from me. He whispered those words into my ear. The words felt like a curse. He's such a coward. I thought that, but contrary to those words, I was filled with overwhelming love for him. I didn't want to take my eyes off his lovely smile. Maybe I should resist, but as he had said, no matter how we tried to make each other understand with words, we'd never be able to fully express ourselves. I just want you to think only of me and nothing else. If you want to be with me, then you have to want to live too. Hey lady, be mine. Still, I wanted him to take everything. Right now, 
I didn't want to let go of his hand. That was the only thing I was sure of. My goodness. I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you... Nah. Yeah. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!